Alduhel advanced to the quarterfinals after winning a nail-biting penalty shootout against fellow Qatar side Al Rayyan and face another stiff test in the form of Saudi Arabia's Al Shabab, who booked their place in the next round after a relatively straightforward 2-0 victory over Fulad Khuzistan just a few days ago. Alduhel, all in black and playing from left to right in the first 45, would produce our first chance of the game as well, and what a chance! Edmilson Jr. with a Picture perfect delivery from the edge of the box, but Michael Olunga unable to come up with the finishing touches. Back the other way, just three minutes later, and Al Shabab with their first a really good chance. Carlos Jr. able to pull the trigger, but Salah Zakaria with a fine save to deny the Brazilian. Al Shabab then. Looking for the opening goal just before the break as well. Moteb Al Harbi doing really well out on the flank. Gets the ball into Carlos Jr. But again, Zakaria there with the goods. 0 0 at half time. A hard fought encounter in this first quarter final between the two sides. Al Shabab then picking up where they left off. With a promising start to the second half. Al Harbi again putting in a fine cross. Al Muala unable to get it on target though. Al Duel then looking to get themselves back into the driving seat from the corner. Was Karim Budiaf on the end of the cross, but just tipped over the crossbar in the nick of time. A minute later, another corner for Al Duel, and this time they do find the back of the net. Michael Olunga with missed opportunities in the first half, but puts it right on the money with the header into the bottom left corner, his fifth Champions League goal of this season, and Al Duel into the lead as a result, and they would turn that into a two-goal lead, a brace for Olunga, and a fantastic few minutes for the side from Qatar, on a silver plate for Olunga, and he was more than happy to oblige from close range. Al Shabab then looking for a way back into this, to keep hopes of a semi-final alive, but that man Salah Zakaria standing in their way to deny Turki Alamar. They were able to peg one back though, deep into a stoppage time, Al Sagur finding the substitute Saeed Al Rabieh, but it was too little, too late in the end, as a memorable quarter-final comes to an end and Al Duel go through to the semi-finals for the first time in the club's history.